Hey guys, today we're going to draw this really cute Boston Terrier. Now a few things before we get started. I want you to try holding your pencil towards the center and much more importantly, I want you to hold onto your pencil really loosely and that way we can erase our guidelines. Now I don't know if you guys realize it or not, but dogs are among my favorite things to draw. In fact, my best selling dog image of all time is probably Morris here on the ball. So I am so excited about today's lesson. I'll see you guys in a bit. Welcome to Drawing with Danny. This channel is not about teaching you how to draw particular things. It's about teaching you how to draw so that you can draw anything. All right, let's go ahead and draw this really cute Boston Terrier. His expression is just, uh, just adorable. Doesn't he look like who, me? What did I do? <laughs> I love this expression. Okay, just a reminder, hold your pencil a little bit more towards the center, and much more importantly, hold on to your pencil really loosely. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna draw this Boston Terrier by using shapes instead of lines. Now, so he's, he's, let's look at him as sort of a two-part character. So here's one part and the other part. We're gonna draw this part first, and we're always looking for the largest shapes to start with. And here's one of the largest shapes, which is this nice, oval shape for its snout. Now notice the angle of the oval. So see as I align my pencil with the top edge of my paper which is straight and I go down into the paper we can see that this is not straight. See the little bit of the angle that it's at? So let's go ahead and draw that. We also have to be mindful of the fact that he has these an upper portion of its head and also really big triangular shaped ears. So let's keep those things in mind as we draw our first shape. So it has a little bit of some notice of curve down here. A little bit of a curve at the bottom. Although that's not particularly critical because I want you guys to draw your Boston Terriers in the way that you want. Um, okay, so we have a nice little bean shaped oval there. So now let's go ahead and draw the part on top. So we have another oval. So see the nice oval on top. Let's go ahead and draw that. And of course, we want that at the same angle as the snout, the lower portion. There we go. Okay. And now I can see already that I have this much. So see the see the the distance between here and here. So see that's much wider than it is here. So he's going to have a different look. And I can leave that that way, or I can change it. So. Um, and you guys can do the same. I think I'll leave it just because um, it'll be easier just to move ahead. Um, so let's go ahead and do its ears. And its ears I would um, characterize as soft triangles. And I say soft triangles because uh, number one, they're sort of rounded on the sides instead of straight. Number two, so see up here, there's not a hard point. See how it's kind of rounded at the top? So that's why I say. Um, I call that a soft triangle. So now let's go on the other side and draw the other ear. You can always, you know, focus on angles of things to help you draw things more successfully. But I, I rarely, aside from my, my regular dog art, now this is cartoon dog art, but my regular dog art, that's when I really focus on trying to make things more exact. Um, but with cartooning, I never do. Okay, let's go ahead and draw its nose right in the middle here. And its nose I would characterize as a soft triangle as well for the same reasons I mentioned before. And now this lowest part here, see this point here, now it's going to be the closest to a sort of a standard uh, triangle shape. It's the closest to having a point. Okay, now we can extend a line down from that sort of a really slightly curved line, and then we're gonna go ahead and curve it more on this side, just a little bit, and then on the other side as well. He, he can have a really cute tongue sticking out too if you wanted to. Now he's got these. Now let's go ahead and draw this. I think this is called a blaze in the middle here. So where the white separates from the black, I think that's called a blaze. Now you can, some of you may have Boston Terriers. So uh, sometimes they have really skinny blazes and sometimes they have wider blazes. So you can kind of make whatever kind of blaze you want. So I'm going to kind of follow the same blaze um, shape I have going on there. This guy, so 
Okay, now it's got these really cute eyes. And I'm going to, and we can see it's a little flat across the bottom, which you can follow if you want, but if you don't want, you don't have to. That's what's really fun about making things our own. We don't have to copy every aspect of something. So I'm just going to keep mine as ovals, and I'm not going to do the little uh, straighter part across the bottom. Now, one thing I am curious about is I love, um, if you've seen my videos before, you know I love doing eyes like this. There. Okay, so now I'm going to go inside and make the soft triangles inside the ear. Now, when I'm doing my regular dog art, I make sure that the distance here, um, or I should say on this side, is more narrow than it is here. With cartooning, I'm not as particular about that. So I'm not going to worry about that here. I'm going to make the inside of this ear as well. And then I've got these, to complete the ear, I've got this almost U-shape indicating the ear canal. There we go. So see, if you were a little girl, you might want to draw a little bow on its head. See how cute that makes it? Okay, now let's go ahead and draw the, a little bit of its collar is showing. So let's go ahead and indicate that. And looks like you could be standing up doing a lecture, giving a lecture or something. <laughs> it's really funny. Okay. So now it's body. So we always want to start with the largest shape now that we're getting ready to draw its body. And the largest shape is this nice horizontal oval. So I sometimes I'll start at both ends. So see I've indicated this. I think I didn't go to the end of the collar. So the collar is a little bit wider than the neck. Because if you did, then it would look like the collar is too tight. And then I'm going to start here as well going out this direction. So now I'm just going to kind of merge those two lines at some point. So I'm going to get about right here. Now I want, I love the little short bodies. And so I want to make sure I don't make it too long. About right there, I think is where I want it. So see basically just a horizontal oval. Then I love Boston's tails. They have these little, little stubby tails like that. And then we can go ahead and, well, uh, before we draw the legs, let's go ahead and indicate, and I don't know that this is called a blaze down here, the separation between the black and the white, but let's call it a blaze for this lesson. So I'm going to angle a line. So I'll just basically draw a curved line. I'm going to angle it right towards the bottom edge of the body and then merge that with the bottom edge of the body at some point. Now let's go ahead and draw its legs, of which he has four and each of which are rectangle shaped. Now, it's in, if it's important for you, and it's not for me, but if it's important to get a sense of where to draw the legs, you can always sort of use the um, what is already drawn in its face as a gauge. For example, so see when I uh, put my pencil on the eyeball here on this side, so see how it kind of aligns with the leg that's on the other side? And this leg aligns with um, just outside this ear. So see how that gives you a sense of, now for me, it's, that's not actually that important. So, but um, that, that could give you a sense of where to, to draw things. Okay, I'm gonna erase some of my lines now. And again, the legs are rectangle shapes. So, i draw two rectangles here. Make about that long. So this, is, this does not include the feet. We'll draw those in just a second. So now, now the back legs are a little different. So what we want to do is, let's go ahead and start by drawing a line, a curved line that's curving out in this direction. So see that over here, how that's curving out in this direction. We're going to stop about right there. Now let's go ahead and follow the back edge of the body. And I'm going to follow that until I get to about right here. And now I'm going to go outward with that same kind of line. So see how we're going out and this goes out to Erase this line now. And so now I'm going to go in this direction. So see, we were going this direction. Now we're going in this direction. 
and it's not quite straight. You can see the edge of the paper is straight, and as I go inside, we can see that this part of his leg is not straight, it angles in. See that? So, so angle that in some. And let's go ahead and do that same thing over here. Now this leg will look a little bit different since it's on the other side of the body. And you can also draw this a little bit smaller because it'll show that it's farther away. Get down to here. So see we're here at this point. Would that be called an elbow? Um, I don't know if dogs have elbows, but whatever that is. And go that in. Okay, so now let's go ahead and draw the feet. And we're going to do that by just drawing an oval at the bottom of this uh, rectangle shape. Then we're going to draw an oval on this side. Now notice how this side, like this rectangle, I drew shorter than I did this one. Or at least I am supposed to. Let me just measure and see. Um, yeah, so see? Yeah, so see that's a little bit longer as it is here. And that'll show that that leg's on the other side. So now let's go ahead and do that with its back legs. Now you want, so you got four legs and you want the legs on the other side, which would be this leg and this leg to be the same length. And then you want this leg and this leg to be the same length on this side. So let's go ahead and, and you can do that by actually extending the line, just a horizontal line across. Um, and I'm not that worried about it. And I've done this like a million times. So I don't, I don't really need that guideline that much, but you guys may. So let's see, and there's that. So we'll go ahead and put that one on that side. About like that. So then we can draw its little toes. And I always do three toes, which will be two lines. So we'll draw two lines on this one as well. And two lines on this one. And two lines on that one. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and clean up all of my sketch marks and really make sure that everything looks the way I, way I want. And if it does, then I can go and darken all of my lines and go over it and sharpie and color it if I wanted to. But at first, you want to make sure that everything looks as you want it to. So I think she's pretty cute. And I'll bet yours are as well. Thanks for joining me today. If you guys have any questions about today's video, leave them in the comment section below. About today's video, remember to share, subscribe, and thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.